Morning, y'all. Thank you for stopping by. We're out here at the Lazy Arena, North Oklahoma City, cooking for the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association Range Round. This makes about my 12th year, and every year when I start, the first thing I do, build a fire in old Bertha, then I make cowboy coffee. Simplest thing in the world, got three ingredients. Coffee, water, fire. Y'all stick around, we're gonna show you how. We got water in this old pot comes to about the bottom of the spout. We're gonna let Bertha do her job and warm this water a little. Take this old eye out so we can get her on high. We'll let her warm that water. When it gets warm, then we'll add the coffee. All right, old Bertha's got her warm. That's why we want it. We wanna let that water warm. For this old big pot, we'll put it in about three handfuls or a cup and three quarters. And we'll have the recipe listed below for all y'all that need a smaller pot of coffee because if you drink all of this at one time, you'll have a buzz on, I promise you. She'll let her get to warming, then she'll boil this and bring it to a rolling boil. We'll finish her up. Cowboy coffee's probably been around longer than we all want to mention. We'll go to showing our age how long in a tooth are we, maybe. But, you know, hunters, campers, everybody used to make this stuff. They'd boil it it's just in an old coffee can or an old empty lard can that they'd cleaned out. But when you boil coffee and you boil it right, you're taking all the acid out. People that drink this coffee after we get them hooked on it say, I don't have no acid indigestion. It don't burn my belly. My stomach's not tore up. That's because we're reaching that temperature when this is boiling to take the acid out of the bean. It's not one of them drip, dropping, spitting, spewing coffee makers that's sitting under your counter. That stuff don't get water hot enough to do no good. If you're gonna make coffee and you want it to be the best coffee you ever drink, boil that coffee. Say, we're gonna let this come to a good rolling boil till I mean maybe two, three minutes, till I mean not just bubbling, but I'm talking rolling, you can see it. That way we know we got them old grounds boiled up good. We're gonna pull it off far and let it set a little bit. All right, we've let this set about a minute or two and we're gonna pour about a cup of cold water. Make sure you get some of it down that spout too, just in case some of them grounds got hung up in there. Cold water. When it hits that, it settles all the grounds and makes it goes to the bottom. But people said for years, you know, hey, you drop an egg in there? No, I like to eat my eggs without my coffee in there. So you don't have to put nothing in there but cold water. All the grounds will go to the bottom. You let it set a minute. You'll have the best cup of coffee you ever poured in your life. And there's not any grounds in this coffee when you cook it right. Now you can see when we pour this out, if there's some grounds in there, it's clean as a whistle. All them grounds settle to the bottom. Remember, boil that coffee, you'll have a better taste. You'll get the bitter the acid out of the bean. Come to a good rolling boil, about three minutes. Pull it off the fire, let it set. A cup of cold water down the spout. Let it set again. Pour you a cup of coffee, you're ready to go. Holler when you get it ready. There's been a lot of things that have went down the trail with old cookies since the 1870s. But one thing has always remained, and that is coffee. Hitter fellers. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Make the cowboy wait.